Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and today I'd like to take you through the setup and operation of the Force Cut 40D. The 40D packs a lot of power for a little price. This machine is capable of cutting half inch steel and is dual voltage, both 110 and 220 volt. The front of the panel on the 40D is real simple. You have your amperage adjust, anywhere from 20 to 40 amps. You have your air pressure, which standard air pressure that you want to cut with is about 80. When you're trying to use max capacity of the machine, it's always good to maybe jump it up to maybe 90, 95, even 100 at times. Keep in mind that your push locks are only rated for 120 PSI. Uh, that's probably too much to run through the machine. But to adjust your air pressure, simply you pull out on the knob and you can tune in less or more and then push to set. Up here you have gas flow, you both have auto and manual. In manual mode it just creates an open circuit for the air to flow. When would you use this? Well, probably right after you did a full half inch cut and you want to cool your consumables. Uh, that's a good way to do it. Maybe let it run for 15-20 seconds. Just uh, you get a little bit more life out of your consumables. Uh, do keep in mind that you do need to run clean dry air to the machine. Uh, the water is probably the number one thing for your consumables uh, to burn them up. And drag in the tip. Uh, keep your tip up off the workpiece. For wiring in the 110 mode, black will be your hot, white will be your neutral, and green will be your ground. In the 220 mode, black and white will be your hots, green will be your ground. Machine automatically knows how to switch over inside between the dual voltages. You note on the back of the machine, it does say that it is dual voltage. We'll start with installing the water separator bracket. I've installed this one facing up. It doesn't seem to matter up or down will work in this configuration. Before we install the water separator, you'll notice on the top that there's a small little arrow. That is direction of airflow. So we'll put the fitting from the air compressor side there. And the next thing I want to talk about is this push lock. This is not a plug. This will thread into the water separator and how this works is you'll just simply insert the tube into it and give it a tug and it's locked in and this is good up to about 120 PSI and then simply to remove it all you'll do is push in on the push lock and pull out on the tube and you'll get your tube back out again. Now let's install our water separator to our bracket. We'll simply just take this, install this, and get this all torqued down. It comes standard with the WSD 60P torch. Comes with a nice clip on standoff to help you stay off your work. And let's get into hooking up the torch. First thing we'll do is we'll hook up the main line where it says torch. And give that a little tighten up. Then we'll take the control cannon plug, we'll install that. Next will be our pilot arc, and that gets hooked up. And that's your standard hookup for your torch. Once again, Longevity supplies us with a very nice, high quality ground, has really good spring tension, and it is copper lined. Clamps real nice to your workpiece or to your table. And then to hook up, you'll just simply insert this where it says workpiece, give it a turn, and lock her down. For this first test piece, I'm dialed in with 25 amps, I'm plugged into the wall on 110, and we're going to cut some 2x2x250 two by two by wall steel. As you can see, the travel speed had to be slowed down, but that's still plugged into the wall and 250 wall on 110. That's pretty amazing. Now I've wired the machine for 220. I've turned the air pressure up to 95 PSI, and we're going to cut some 3 8 cold rolled steel.
That's it for the setup and operation of the Longevity Force Cut 40D. What do I think? I think it's a great value price little package that would be an asset to any shop or home garage. Thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and I'll catch you here next time.